ministers could delay Britain's ban on sales of 2030 new petrol and diesel cars after the EU dilutes its own restrictions amid opposition from German manufacturers. The agreement, adopted by Brussels, will end the sale of new CO2 emitting cars by 2035. But it does include an exemption for cars working on E-Elements carbon neutral petrol alternatives, after compromising a backroom with Berlin, which has faced angry lobbying by German automakers. This means the bloc could sell new petrol and diesel cars for five years longer than the UK. Critics of MOVE, announced by Boris Johnson while Prime Minister, have now urged the government to follow EU's lead. Unless it's delayed, we're giving a big boost to Chinese automakers. They are already raiding. However, today a government source has reduced the chances of policy change. Whitehall is said to be examining the deal that would end the sale of new CO2 emitting cars passed by Brussels. The deal includes an exemption for cars working in E-teams after it was requested by Berlin, which faced angry lobbying by automakers. Critics of ban today urged the government to follow EU's lead. Approval from EU countries' energy ministers means that Europe's 2035 policy could go into effect after weeks of delay caused by last-minute opposition from Germany. EU law will require all new cars sold to have zero CO2 emissions from 2035 and 55% lower CO2 emissions from 2030 versus 2021 levels. The targets are designed to increase the rapid carbonation of new car fleets in Europe. However, the European Commission has promised to create a legal pathway for sales of new cars that only work in e-teams after 2035, after Germany requested this exemption. EU policy was expected to make it impossible to sell combustion engine cars in the EU from 2035. But the exemption offers a potential lifeline to traditional vehicles e collars are not yet scaled up. German Transport Minister Volker Wissing said the deal would open up important options for climate neutral and affordable mobility for the population. The direction of travel is clear, by 2035 new cars and vans should have zero emissions, said Franz Timmermans, EU climate policy chief. E-wings are considered carbon neutral, because they are made using captured CO2 emissions, proponents offset the CO2 released when fuel is burned in an engine. In the fall of 2023, the Commission will propose how sales of e-fuel-only cars can resume beyond 2035. Such cars will have to use technology to prevent them from starting when they are filled with gasoline or diesel. Poland voted against the law, while Italy, Bulgaria and Romania abstained. Transport accounts for around a quarter of EU emissions. Porsche is one of the car brands pushing the development of e-fuels. It has invested more than £61 million in a manufacturing facility operated by HIF in Chile. Porsche and Ferrari are among supporters of e-things, which they see as a way to prevent their vehicles from being weighed down by heavy batteries. Other automakers like Volkswagen, Mercedes-Benz, and Ford are betting on battery electric vehicles to be carbonized. Germany's late intervention has offended some EU diplomats, after EU countries and lawmakers already agreed to the 2035 phase last year raising concerns that governments may try to block other carefully negotiated agreements on climate policies. As a principle, we don't like this approach. Spanish Energy Minister Teresa Ribeiro said of the late comeback, adding that current assessments show E-wings are too expensive to be widely used. EU energy ministers also agreed Tuesday extend a voluntary target to reduce their gas use by 15% over 12 months help prepare with scarce gas for next winter. Some EU officials expected ministers to tackle a dispute over whether nuclear energy should count towards the EU's renewable energy targets, a question that has divided countries and threatens to delay the EU's main renewable energy policy. A government spokesperson said, we are committed to ensuring that all new cars and vans are zero emissions by 2035.
Drivers on England's motorways and major roads are never more than 25 miles from a fast charging point, and we expect the charging network to expand tenfold by 2030.